next to the running track and football stadium. Carolina Marin Sports Palace. Named after the three-time former world champion, Carolina Marin. Well, two of the evening sessions of the semi-finals have been completed. Next up is the first of the men's singles, War Indian Affair. Lakshya Sain up against the number 12 seed, Kidnambish Vakans. So as far as the men's singles is concerned, by the end of the second round, we only had one seed in the top half of the draw. That uh, can be seen, obviously, at quarter-final stage. That was former world number one, Kidnambish Vakans. But look at that, three players from India at the quarter-final stage. Two of them now meeting head to head for a place in the World Championship final. For Lakshya Sain was 20 years of age and if he wins today's match, he will become the youngest ever men's singles finalist. The finals to date was Ichuk Sugiato, when he won gold in Copenhagen in 1983 as a 20-year-old, seven months and four days. This man will become even younger if he wins this match now. This surprised me that it was the first international meeting between these two players. No doubt they played each other domestically. But first international So it looks like Lakshya Sain won the toss and chose ends. And he's chosen that far side of the court. Well, I have a feeling that cameraman will be asked to move. That's dangerous to the players warm up. Step warm up in the half of the court. 20 years of age from Almora, southern ridge of the Himalayan foothills. It's uh, at high altitude, 5,000 feet. And he is enjoying his fifth week in total and his career high of 19. But look at his matches so far. Had a walk over in the first round, then beat Nishimoto, the number 15 seed in three games. Then beat the Olympic semi finalist Kevin Corden, and then beat the left handed Jiang Peng of China. Came from 1920 down, saving a match point to beat the Chinese player 22 20. So to Kadambi Shrikant, who is 28 years of age from Bradley Lafayla, uh, brought up in uh, Gunthorpe, has been world number one. As you can see, that was for one week from the 12th of April 2018. Currently 14, playing his sixth world championship. And prior to this, his best had been in Glasgow four years ago when he reached the quarterfinal stage. A beat Pablo Abrion, who was playing in his 12th World Championship in the first round, then Li Sheng Feng in uh, three games, uh, then beat another Chinese player, Lu Guangzhou, who in the second round had put out Chu Tian Chen, the number four seed, quarter final against Mark Kalyo from the Netherlands in just 26 minutes. So no seeded opposition. Uh, but I can't let it go without mentioning Mark Kalyo, who has returned from heart surgery wonderful to see him back and playing so well and tachycardia which is an abnormally high heart rate and he's had surgery to fix that and it's wonderful to see him back so our court officials for this one Subdeo from Trinidad and Tobago and Simon Garbi from Uganda Oh, very sparkly 
name tag on the back of Kadabin's shirt. I think it's gold letters. Right? Yeah, maybe. Difficult to tell in this slide. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Trikant Shikirambi, India. And on my left, Lakshia Sen, India. Trikant Kirambi to serve, love all, play. Sir. The former world number one, Kidambi Shrikanth, nearest to us, getting this men's single semi-final underway against Lakshya Sen. Well, this is the 26th staging of the World Championships, and over the previous 25, Players from India have won a grand total of two bronze medals in the men's singles discipline. And here they are, they're guaranteed a bronze and at very least a silver in this year's championships. Two, love. Well, Sapraneet in 19, is it Prakash who won the... Prakash, uh, yes. In 1983, 38 yeah. years ago. Prakash Vatikov, Norsi, who went on to take gold and is currently the youngest ever men's singles finalist at the World Championships. Missed it. Now, uh, I'm assuming, Steen, that Kidambi Shrikanth is the number 12 seed and former world number one and the more experienced player as he's older, 28 as opposed to 20, that all the pressure is on Kidambi. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, he's been struggling with his game for a long, long time, so this is by far um, the best result in, uh, in a long while. And, uh, playing a younger, more inexperienced uh, opponent fellow countryman is um, in my opinion the favorite um, on paper but it might look entirely different on the court uh, I caught a little bit of um, like you say it's uh, quarterfinal against uh, Jiao Junping out of the corner of my eye and looked to be um, Fierce battle. He's very fast on his feet, uh, Lakshya. Yeah. Yeah, good smash from Kadambe. But uh, for the lift had been short from Lakshya Sait. Look where he's leaping from. Well, inside the double service line. I was also uh, interested to see whether there was going to be coaching in um, this match here because um, I think they're from different academies in uh, Yes, in that's India, right. But there is no uh, coaching and uh, normally Laksha is uh, coached by his father, DK. So it's over. Saying, Three, four. And Shrikan has been coached by Paktisan here in uh, this tournament. Oh, that's a lovely block. That's going wide. Well, this is the first World Championship for this young man, Lakshya Sain. And Steen and I were discussing, that's a beautiful backhand from Kandanda, that really is. We were discussing earlier, weren't we, about men's singles players reaching the final of the World Championships on their debut. And we came up with two names, Lin Dan in 2005 in Anaheim, and of course Ichuk Sugiato in 1983. Not sure if there's been any more, but those are certainly the two names we came up with. Six, four. There might be 
might have been more earlier on, but um, yeah, but it was three years between championships then, so yes, it's a big chance. But on the other hand, lesser spots to uh, so pick order, from. Five, of course, six. everybody that won at the first World Championships won on their debut. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So is that. Yeah, that's a good play. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah. Good awareness from Lakshya Sen. Six all. And it seems like to be in the semi final here, you should either have played Victor Axelsen twice within the last 13 weeks of practice with him, then it's sort of, your game takes off. Yeah, well there's no denying the fact that all of the players that were based in Dubai with Victor Axelsen for the month-long training session that he had, Lakshya Sain was one of them, Loken Yu was another, they've all been playing extremely well, and so has Axelsen himself, until he got here to Wilbur. And I think he just simply ran out of steam. He did. Seven, six. Seven, six. That's very good judgment. Play. That's a lovely, lovely movement. Yeah. Around the head shot. Yeah. Silver, seven, four. Former world number one in the junior rankings. Yeah, well, that's quite possibly uh, a set piece, the uh, cross drop from his forehand and then getting under the uh, straight reply. Well, that's going wide, that looked a nervous shot to me. Eight, seven. First time that Lakshya Sain has been in the lead. Well, you were saying that Kadamri Shrikanth has not had the best of time in the last few years. His last final was 32 months ago. That was the India Super 500 of 2019. His last title was four years, one month and 21 days ago. In 2017. Yeah, French Super Series. So the silver... Nine, no titles for four years for a former world number one. Yeah, now you see shots like that to me, Steen, that looks nervous. Yeah. There's, no, there's no rally, there's no build up. No. And, and the thing there is, is the emotion, sometimes the emotions inside becomes so so unpleasant the the uh, tension mm. is so big that you, you can't really bear it you just oh, want to you just want the next point over with and see if you won it or lost it and you, if you have that feeling you most probably are going to lose the next point yeah well it's a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval for much here same eight minutes into the match for the last six points to this young man. Yeah, just releasing the tension. And there's a 
the strength, players like to release the tension, but it gives the reference a strong and so tight one for the One broken string can contort the racket head. Now those racket stringers will be up to 1,100 rackets by the end of this week, by the end of tomorrow, I reckon. They're already that over 1,200, according what? to Danish TV earlier right. today. Good gracious. Yeah. We're and getting conflicting information. And I have to correct both of us, Jill, because I got us certainly got a so flashback that Lindan didn't Nine, reach 11. the uh, final in his debut. Because he lost to uh, his later coach, Shia Schwanzi, when he became the world champion. So he played 2003? He played in Birmingham. Ah, okay. Thank you. And he wasn't especially happy about that um, loss, I recall. But uh, Shia went on to uh, win the title. Yeah, he did. Beat Wong Chun Han in the final. A thrilling match. Wide. Yeah, I think it's, it's, for me one of the, the so ideas is that sometimes it's easier to come in as a youngster and not really know what this is and how much it means and, uh, and so on, having experienced uh, the near misses and, and stuff like that, so uh, once in a while that's um, it's easier to play because same as playing from an underdog position, no doubt about it. Yeah. If you're right about Kidambi's name on the, the uh, uh, that it's written in gold. It's a little bit early in my opinion. I, I do know, and I think that puts pressure on. Yeah. On the other hand, if he wins, then it was a brilliant idea to sort of uh, psych himself up. So, uh, well, I, I remember Michael Johnson yeah. when he won gold in both 400 and 200 and he had his gold uh, shoes that he was running in and I just felt it put huge pressure on the man. I yeah. mean, he ended up winning two golds yeah. and two world records, so I mean, that's not too shabby, is it? But well, we don't know if it's, we don't know if it's gold. No, and I mean, it's terribly yeah. difficult. If a sponsor says, I want yeah. you to wear this shirt, then you really have to wear it. Ah, that's a great smash. So the silver, four, fifteen. But also, given the previous results, I think I would play it a little bit. Um, Soft, if I were to count. What do you mean, playing soft? Uh, take so, pace out of the shot. Uh, to sort of um, try to underplay my um, my role a little bit. Say, mm. I'm just happy to uh, be back and uh, yeah, in the weekend and where the tournaments are fun and I'm happy to win my my first medal. Yeah. Trying to do my best, see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's a great shot. He's got a strange looking smash movement, uh, like she's saying, but very, very short. And it makes it difficult for the opponent to gauge the uh, direction. Lovely uh, short racket movement, arm doesn't do a lot. Yeah, good follow-up. So the silver, 
walking you know, in the I, I sit here with the feeling that um, Shrikhand is about to settle in, or perhaps Sen is about to feel the tension of being close to um, winning this first game here. 15-16. We've also got to take into consideration Kadambi only was on court for 26 minutes in his quarter-final, yeah. whereas Lakshia, an hour and seven minutes in his battle, and a lot of tension too. Yeah, he was down at the match point, wasn't he? That's incredible. Yeah, he was down match point. Well, he lost his footing. What a rally. Good yeah, and his back level. Extremely clever play by Shrikhan, the last shot, taking all power out of it. That's good retrieval, that one there. I think it's this one. Yeah. Sixteen all. Play. Going wide, good pressure from Kedambi. 17, 16. Even though he struggled, Kedambi, there's few players that are better than him on the uh, first quarter of the court. That shot there. Mm. He's got so many options. Reminds me of uh, former world champion Taufik Hidayat from Indonesia. Oh, really this is one yeah, and, at the and, front. And he shows immediately how much it means to him. Yeah. Well, that's a rarity, isn't it? He doesn't often show emotion. No, a straight face there would have been um, really worrying for Lakshya Sen. Tophik would never have missed that. <laughs> Wide. Wide. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot riding on this first game, I sense. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's because he missed the previous attempt at the neck kill. 17. He was very hesitant on that, which is why it went in an upward direction and went long of the back line. That's not going down at all, is it? That was going up. Two point advantage and two points from the opening game. That's another error. Yeah. Now, costly that missed kill at the net. Three game points for Lazio Saint. Opening game to the 20 year old Lakshya Sain against the former world number one, Kirambi Shrikan. 17 in 17 minutes. <laughs>
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Well, this will really test the nerve of Kadambi Shrikant. Pressure absolutely lining up on him right now. The ball. Play. It's incredible to think that Lakshya Sain did not get selected for India's Thomas Cup team. Yeah, I, I don't know if the selection committee is still there or they've been... Well, they, they decide to do it. Yeah. Uh, Morton was explaining yesterday that they do it on uh, a trials competition. So if you're not 100% for the trials, you don't get selected. So all your results throughout the year and previous years uh, apparently count for nothing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an easy way to select. You don't have to put anything at stake because you can always refer to uh, the results, but uh, I don't think it's the, uh, the best optimal way, way to um, bring players forward. Or to necessarily have your best team there. No. Because clearly India didn't have their best team there in Aarhus. Well, at the start of the tournament, sadly we lost three seeds, three top eight seeds, and they were all from the top half of the draw, the two-time defending champion, the Asian Games gold medalist, Jonathan Christie, and Anthony Ginting, the Olympic bronze medalist. So that has certainly had its effect on the tournament. But see, it was interesting. I, I uh, looked at all the world rankings of the eight quarter finalists, and Morton and I discussed it. The average ranking of the eight players is just under 20. The average ranking? The average world ranking. Of, so we've got the, uh, of the quarter finalists? Of the eight quarter finalists. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got a, a player down at 42, yeah. we've got one at 28, one at 32, 22, 19, and then we've got two top 10 players yeah. as well. Yeah, it was, it was tough on the uh, tournament. So the withdrawal from uh, Momota and the Indonesians, and then uh, yeah. tracks us as defeat in the first round. Yeah. But uh, Lakshya Sen was actually, had they, there were those discussions, some players were calling for a new redraw, and had they done one, Lakshya Sen would actually have gotten a, a seating. Oh, my goodness, look at that. A little moment of magic from Kidambi. Wow, that's the second one he saves. Yeah. Incredible. Silver, silver, look at that. Three. Look at that. That's amazing. Behind the back, backhand. Yeah, sorry, I interrupted you there. I just got uh, too carried away with the play. <laughs> yeah, so some players were calling for a reval. Some were. Uh, silver, silver felt that um, the draw had been imbalanced in terms of strength. It mm. doesn't say whether it's strength or number. Um, but uh, anyway, the referee uh, did not uh, do a redraw. No. Uh, Morton and I discussed it, and, you know, I don't understand what we gain by doing the draw so far in advance, no. and why we don't do the draw of all our major tournaments, literally, a day before play gets underway. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Well, there must be some reason they do it. I just don't understand it. I think the reason that's is wild. that that's what's always been done. That I, I really think there needs to be um, some 
sort of world tour committee that uh, overhauls the rules based on the uh, maybe there is that we're just not aware of it. Yeah, it could be. that's a great next shot from Lakshya Saint. And if you're a Kanami Shrikant fan, you'll be very, very worried right now. Yeah, he came back from a game down against Li Shifong. But, um, but uh, yeah, we've talked about it a number of times. It's, it's important to stay close. Yeah. Rally. Very good rally, good control by Kadambi. Look at that. That's all about spatial awareness. He wasn't watching the shuttle onto the racket there, I can assure you. Still made good contact. Come on, this rally so far. and determination with that smash from Kadambi. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh, that's on the line. Precision. Well, he's responding well, these Shrikants. 4 8 down. I felt rather concerned. Brilliant. Ah, that's cool and calm. Nine or all. Saying did the right thing to try and take it off the top of the tape, but it was just such a good net shot from Kanami, he couldn't make the kill. Oof, my goodness. <laughs> Some, he's got so much speed that he's tumbling. Still gets back. Yeah, into the lead. Six of the last seven points. Seven of the last eight points, and Kedambi Shrikant goes to the big game interval with a two point advantage, having been four eight down. Well, for Kedambi, I'm not sure that this big game interval has come at the right time. If I was him, I'd want to keep going while we've got the momentum. It's also already on court again. Yeah. Oh, 
20 seconds. 20 seconds. points. Like she's saying, it's got to stop this run right now. Yeah. So the silver, 10, 12. He played the winning smash, Kidambi. It's gone well. So the silver, eleven, thirteen. Because of his hitting with the drift, and he's fearing hitting out, probably. That's one possibility. The other one is um, respect for uh, Shrikant's attack, trying to keep it low. But um, boy, that's gone low as well. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not totally solid uh, on the far side of the court there. Really long to me. Yeah, it was clearly long. Where's your challenge? Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Silver silver. Fourteen. Twelve. He's breathing quite heavily, isn't he? Like she? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you play full court against front court, then it's really, really tough. Yeah. So, at least from the uh, front court area, where when you're in reasonable balance, I think you've got to try yeah. and, um, and find the, uh, the back line. With some marking, uh, if you move Shrikan from uh, one side to the other, then um, still got a good attack. But yeah. it's the worst thing that can happen for Shen to give Shrikan the attacking what? possibilities uh, in good balance without having to move too much. I 
twelve four now since he was down four eight. See? Oh no, it's not four one. So silver thirteen sixteen. The sideways drift may be more prominent than the lengthways drift at the moment. That's a possibility. chance for saying is to finish this off in straight games because I don't I don't read Shrikan to be uh, totally confident I think he is he's struggling he's struggling well in terms of um, it's a tough day at the office Hoping to weather the storm here, but but the game is not really solid. I think Kadam is just riddled with nerves. Yeah. Good save. Oh my goodness. Born rally. Yeah, fabulous. Silver, it's also a little bit of a battle for supremacy in India, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Even though Saipranit won the bronze in Basel and Shrikan hasn't been playing that well, it's still him who's sort of considered as the number one. Uh, he's highest on the world ranking at the moment, apparently. Of Indian players, that is. Yes. But if he loses this one, and yeah. Laksha goes to the final. Yeah. And then who's, the, who's top dog, who's star? Exactly. A lot at stake here. Good saves by Shrikant. 19 points away from taking this second game. One point away from a third and deciding game. 20, game point 14. Second game, 21-14 in favour of the former world number one, Kidambi Shrikant. And considering he was 4-8 down, that is a remarkable comeback. And maybe that will settle some of the obvious nerves. Because I seem to recall mentoring a cross court smash earlier on, and I said that was played with great determination, and I think that was one of the turning points. At 4-8 or something yeah. like that, exactly, from his backhand side. Yeah. I agree. And uh, Sen had good control over the uh, straight smashes from um, Shrikant, so <laughs> opening the court up was um, definitely uh, an important thing for him. Yeah.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. So a place in the World Championship final comes down to this one game. Oh, that's a beauty. That is tremendous. What a delightful skill there from Kidambi Shrikanth. The reverse slice. Slow drop played to perfection. Look at that. Even got the net cord. Be a little too clever so there. Silver, one, oh. I like silver, the idea because at some point one. saying it's got to play back at um, Shrikand at the net. much about that. Sane is struggling, you know, he's tired. Yeah. He's not getting up, but he certainly doesn't have the same pace that he showed in the opening game. And I'm wondering if his match against Zhao Chimpeng yesterday in the quarterfinal stage is beginning to take its toll. And uh, at the same time, we can play it with great patience here. Just keep on going, Shrikant. Playing these long rallies. I've always thought he is a fit player. I've always thought he's had good stamina. Down me. Good perception. Yeah. So the silver. Two, three. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, when you control the rallies, you tend to use use less energy than uh, your opponent. It's a great angle, isn't it? So the silver, four, two. I just sense that Kadambi could be on the verge of just pulling away. 
Yeah. Two guts to play that clear. That uh, opened up the court. Ooh. So the silver, three, four. Returns, uh, so much for my theory. Yeah, I had the same feeling, but I, I think it's only a few rallies to uh, change the momentum. The service situation is um, quite important at the moment to gain the upper hand after the first two, three shots. Oh dear, that's, that's a very nervous looking so shot. That's not six, even close. Five. good control on their net play haven't they they've both played some lovely net shots yeah they have we haven't seen a whole lot from the net cam sometimes we sort of um, overestimate it uh, we can't really see how close it is from here but uh, but they've seen to play a great net game yeah good courage Seven, to keep the pressure on would have been awfully easy to play the attacking shot on the final one here. That, that was courageous. Could have so easily just played the block. So the silver, seven, all. This could be a thriller. Yeah. Like the uh, Sen Junpong match. Yeah, that is beautiful net play for both of them. This is an important point. Wow. Nice block. Wow. Oh my goodness, it came off the frame. And he misses the backhand. Well, that was the first time that I saw tiredness from Kidambi. 43 shots. Well, I can't remember a longer rally than that.
Every yeah. time Kadambi comes back onto court, he touches the doubles line and then the inner tram line, the singles <laughs> side line <laughs> of his racket, and then kisses his racket. Have you noticed that? No. Yeah. Touches both lines, then kisses his racket. Yeah. Good alertness from Lakshese. Silver, eight, nine. Yeah, he's strapping on his knees, falling off as well. Saw that in the women's doubles with Shin Siang Chan. Yeah, that was a winning sign. Oh, great net play. Oh dear, that's wild. Lost his patience. Silver, silver. I thought he uh, was playing too safe on the first one. Don't get a little three point lead here. Like she's saying before the change of ends, then there's a lot of pressure on Shrikand uh, in the first rallies after the interval. Brilliant. Finds the line just inside the line, and indeed he does have a three point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game. So the moment of truth. Who's got the nerve? Who's got the character? Who's got the belief? Level eight. Should we play? Can hardly afford to go zero two here in the first two rallies. Amazing retrieving. Boy. That is incredible. Fantastic rally. Nine, eleven. Images. Yeah. Nine, eleven. Play. That's amazing. What a terrific angle from Kedami Shrikansi. It's 
to the Chuck Quality. And he went 2 0 up in the first two rallies instead, and uh, wide open. Play. Play. Oh, it's just wide. Oh, he went in that challenge and then the that and was wide. Here. Out. What did you think, Steve? Uh, it was close. Um, if you had to make a choice, it would be out as well. But it was close, so uh, I think I like the challenge, actually. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12, 10. Play. We're four minutes shy of the hour mark. And still none the wiser who's going to be in the final tomorrow. That's well played. Excellent defense, getting it long. And then finally also attacking a little bit himself, Lakshya Sen on this uh, near side of the court here. Of course you could say that he's had, he hasn't had the chance before now. Ten. Yeah, you're right. You Play. touch the two lines and then yep. kiss the racket. This is a big point. So the silver level. Oh. That's a very rare unforced error from Lakshya Sen. I liked it. I liked it. It just needs to do it a little bit better. Next time, he cannot let Shrikant get too comfortable. Oh, that's well wide. Yeah, and look at the reaction of yeah. Kadambi again. Yeah. So the silver. And do you remember when he did that in the other game? He lost four straight points and the game. Yeah. So this is now for Lakshya Singh. Oh, you could save. Plus, yeah. 
Yeah, that's brilliant. Good team, good team. That's a remarkable defence from what you're saying. Saved off the body. This is so awkward. Thank you, Landrad. Look at that. Two-point cushion. 13. Play. Oh, my youngster. Oh, this 14, is developed in 15. an absolutely fabulous match. We've just gone over the hour mark. And there's just one point in it. as um, clinical on the front court as uh, she can. Play. 15 all. Oh, that was a good neck shot. So was that. Oy. Oh, he's tired. Get at me. Fantastic shot. There is Big Devil. That took two. its toll physically. He's doing a syndrome. What a final shot. He's played so many wonderful net shots. They're playing the push, something different. And that variety paid dividends. Well. Three straight points to go into the lead. Yeah, 16, well, Steen, you 15. were right. You said uh, hey, hey. about stamina, and you questioned it. Yeah, but he was still playing some quality shots. This is important. Yeah. Good job by Saint. So the silver, 16, all. of ability and will they're both willing themselves on forcing themselves to take the shuttle early forcing themselves to chase every shuttle down and there must be some times where Shrikan just wants to pounce on those shots yes. and get the point but yet he uh, controls himself 
once and getting a lot of that back with interest with uh, high lifts. 17, 16. Oh, that's a well You must be smiling inside there, Shrikant. Two points away from a place in the World Championship final. That was two cheap points, wasn't it, Steve? It was two real cheap Play. points. That's a good shot. Fantastic shot. So the silver, 17, 19. Play. <laughs> They've happily changed the shuttle so far, but now it's a little bit too close. Yeah, and I think Singh realizes his opponent's very, very tired yeah. and doesn't want to waste time changing the shuttle. Same, but it goes wide of the mark. The backhand with full pirouettes. Thank you, Lanzard. Yeah, well wide. Look at the reaction of Sane. And it is match point opportunities. Three of them Play. for Kidambi Shrikant. He's done it. An hour and eight minutes. He sinks to his knees. 21 17 in the deciding game. Kadami Shrikant is in the World Championship final. What a very special moment respect between the two players what a terrific match, match a terrific one, battle well it is this man who will contest the world championship final tomorrow an hour and nine minutes for the victory when you consider that he was three points down at the change of ends in the deciding game. And let's not forget that it was Lakshya Sain who actually chose ends after the toss of the coin. The delight for Kidami. My goodness, he had to work hard for that. He had to control the nerves. Riddled with nerves in the opening game. But he got himself together in the second from four eight down in that second game he just threw everything at this match and his reward is victory 17 21 21 14 21 17 in the deciding game and a place in the world championship final tomorrow Well, after the excitement of that, coming up next is men's doubles, and it features the former European champions Astrop and Orasmussen up against the Chinese number 16 seeds Herji Ting and Tan Xiang.
ਸਾਡੇ ਕੀ ਕੋਈ ਜਾਲੂ ਸੋ ਸਾਈਂਸ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਡੈਕੋਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ 